the giving tree, and the little boy. In a magical forest, there stood a special tree, known as the giving tree. Its green leaves shimmered in the sunlight, and the tree loved to make everyone happy. One day, a little boy came running through the forest, curious and full of energy. Hello, tree, the little boy said, hugging the tree. The tree was excited and asked, Would you like to play with me? The boy laughed, swinging on the tree's branches, climbing high, and resting under the cool shade. Time passed, and the boy grew bigger. He came back one day, but this time, he wasn't as playful. I need toys to play with, he told the tree. The giving tree offered its apples, and the boy collected them to sell at the market. More years passed, and the boy returned, even taller. I need a house to live in, he said. The giving tree, still happy to help, told him to cut its branches and build his house. Storytelling has been proven to boost children's learning experience. It sparks their curiosity and imagination, making learning really fun. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Canva and ChatGPT to create an engaging storybook for kids. Let's get started. The first step is to get a story idea. And for this, I'm going to use ChatGPT. Once you're on ChatGPT, you're going to type the following prompt. Generate 10 story ideas that kids love. ChatGPT has generated for us 10 story ideas that we can use for our story. You can pick on any of these story ideas that ChatGPT has given us. The next step is to generate the actual story. And again, we are going to use ChatGPT to generate our story. We are going to type the following prompt on ChatGPT. My story idea is on the giving tree. Write a story about the giving tree for kids aged 5 to 8. It should be very engaging and must have a positive lesson at the end. So ChatGPT has generated for us a story here. And this is the story that we're going to use to create our storybook. Next, we are going to ask ChatGPT to generate for us prompts that we are going to use to generate images. And again, right inside ChatGPT, we are going to type the following prompt. Separate the above story into chapters with prompts that can be used to generate images. Include prompts for the cover page. You can see that ChatGPT has given me a prompt and this is the prompt that I'm going to use to generate an image for the cover page. Down here, it has separated our story into chapters with the title for the different chapters. The story here has six chapters. We will head over to Canva and we are going to click on create a design. In this search bar here, we are going to search for a storybook. I'm going to stick with a blank Canva. Once you have a clean Canva like this one here, we will start over by creating our cover page. And to do that, we will come over to our left and we are going to click on apps. And in this search bar, we are going to search for magic media. Select the first option. This is the app that we are going to use to generate our images. Next, we will head over back to chat GPT and we are going to copy the prompt for our cover page. And right inside the description box, we are going to paste that prompt. Next, you're going to come down here and you can select the style of the image that you'd want Magic Media to generate for you. I'm not going to choose any style for my image, so I'm going to leave it at none. Down here, you can select the aspect ratio of your image. You can choose square, landscape or portrait. I'm going to select square. Next, I'm going to click on Generate Image. Magic Media has generated for us four different images that we can select. Next, we are going to add a frame to our blank canvas here. Click on Elements and we are going to search for a frame. You can expand it. There are quite a number of frames here that are suitable for a storybook page. I'm going to select this first frame here. Then we are going to go back to Magic Media 
and we are, we are going to drag one of the images and we are going to place it right inside the frame. Realize that our Canva is still white. We have not added in any color to our Canva. And for a kid's storybook, you'd want to bring in some color. So what you're going to do is click on this Canva here and then come over here and then click on this background color icon right here. And we will select one of the colors. So choose a background color for your storybook. I'm going to choose this color here. Next, I'm going to bring in our title. Head over back to ChatGPT and we are going to copy the title of our story. Then come back to Canva and you're going to click on text and we are going to select add a heading. Then paste in your heading right inside there. Just move our title to the top of our cover page. Next, we're going to change the font of our title. Click on the title itself and you're going to come over here to your left. Search for a font. You can select any of the fonts on Canva. I'm going to pick on that one there and I'm going to adjust the title slightly and I'm good with this title as is. Our title now looks good. Now that we're done with our cover page, we will come over down here and we're going to click on add page. And you can see that whenever we add a page, our background color remains the same as our cover page's background color. We will go back to chat GPT and we're going to copy the second image prompt. Then head over back to Canva, then go back to Magic Media and right inside the description box, we are going to change the prompt to the prompt that we have just copied from chat GPT. Then click on generate again. Before we add our images to this page, we will come back to elements and again we're going to search for a frame. I'm going to pick on that frame there and I'm going to position it right there. To make our story creation process a bit easier, I'm going to add another page again and I'm going to pick on another frame, adjust it, place it somewhere there and add another page, then select another frame, place it somewhere there. So keep creating your different pages and adding different frames for the different pages of your storybook. We will go back to Magic Media and we are going to select an image for our first chapter. Drag one of the images and we're going to paste it right inside our frame. From here, we will go back to chat GPT, then copy the introduction, copy the title introduction, then come over to Canva, then click on text and we are going to select a subheading and we are going to add a subheading, paste in our subheading, increase the font, change the font of our subheading. Head over back to chat GPT and we are going to copy the first paragraph for our introduction. Then come over back to Canva and click on text and we're going to paste in our text. Next, we are going to change the font of this text here. I'm going to change the image for our introduction to match the actual story. I'm going to head back to Magic Media and I'm going to search for the magic tree alone without the boy. And there we have it. Next, we're going to come down here to the next page then head over back to chat GPT and we're going to copy our last text for the introduction. Select text. And we're going to paste in our text right there. Let's change the font. Head over back to Magic Media and we're going to search for an image for our next page. If there is a particular image that you like that has been generated by Magic Media and you'd want to generate other images that are similar to that specific image, you will come over here and you're going to click on these three dots here and you're going to select generate more like this. I'm going to pick on this one here. I'll drag it and I'm going to drop it right inside our frame. Come over to the next page, head over back to chat GPT and we are going to copy the first chapter, head back to Canva, click on the next page, select text and we're going to add another subheading. Change the font of that subheading, head over back to chat GPT and we're going to copy the story for this first chapter. Then head over back to Canva and we're going to paste in that text right inside here. Next, we're going to change the font and I'm going to increase the font size. I will head over back to chat GPT and I'm going to copy the image prompt for the first chapter. Head over back to Canva, back to Magic Media and I'm going to change the image prompt. I'm going to drag one of these images right inside that frame. I will go ahead to create the remaining chapters for our storybook. 
Once you're done generating all the chapters for your storybook, we're going to download this storybook. We are going to download this storybook as a PDF. Click on share, then click on download, and we are going to select PDF print, then click on download, and you have your PDF copy. Set the PDF copy, I want us to generate a flipping book. To do that, you're going to click on share, then click on see all, and under design, you're going to click on simple booklet flip, then click on save. Click on view in simple booklet flip. I'm going to sign in with my Google account. When you get to this page, you can choose the style with which you'd want your book to flip. I'm going to select page curl and I'm going to click on convert. And you can see that our book has now been converted into a flipping book. Next, we're going to record this book as it flips. And to do that, we are going to use a tool called OBS. Search for OBS Studio Download and select the first option, then download it. So I have already downloaded my OBS Studio and this is how it looks like once you've downloaded it. Double click to open it. Already have it running because I'm recording this video. And this is how it looks like. Click on start recording. Mine indicates stop recording because I'm already recording this video here. Once you've clicked on start recording, you will come over back to your flipping book and you're going to record it as it flips. For each page, we are going to give it around 20 seconds and then flip it. For this page, we are going to give it about 40 seconds, 20 seconds for each page and then flip it. We are going to do the same thing for this one here. 20 seconds for each page and we're going to flip it. Once you're done, you will click on stop recording. Once you've clicked on stop recording, your file is going to be saved right here. Click on file and then click on show recordings and you should be able to see your recording. You realize that we have already converted our book into a flipping book, but then we do not have a voiceover. To get our voiceover, we are going to use 11 labs. Sit over to 11 labs, then click on text to speech and I'm going to copy our story narration I will start with the introduction. Click on this button here and we are going to change the voice that is going to narrate our story. Then click on generate speech. In a magical forest, there stood a special tree known as the giving tree. Next, we are going to download it. Click on the download icon. Click on the download icon and our first voice over has now been generated. Head over back to chat GPT. And we're going to copy the narration for our first chapter. Then go back to 11 labs and we're going to paste it in right there. Then click on generate speech. Hello, tree. The little boy said, hugging the tree. Download it. Copy the narration for the second chapter. Head over back to 11 labs and we're going to paste it. Click on generate speech. Time passed and the boy grew bigger download it. Head over back to chat GPT, copy the narration for the third chapter, then paste it right inside 11 labs. I'm going to do the same thing for the remaining chapters. Click on generate speech. More years passed and the then download it. The last step is to bring together our flipping book recording together with our voiceover from 11 labs. And for that, you're going to use CapCut. Once you're on CapCut, you're going to upload all your recordings from 11 labs. Just click on upload, upload file, and you're going to bring in all your different recordings. I have already uploaded mine right here. Once you're done, you're going to drag your recording, your OBS recording, and you're going to place it right onto your timeline. I already have mine here. And you're going to place the voiceovers just below the OBS recording. I have already placed my voiceovers right here. All you need to do is to listen into the recordings as you match the voiceover together with the OBS recording. So let's listen into this one here. The giving tree and the little boy. In a magical forest, there stood a special tree known as the giving tree. You can see that my OBS recording is way longer than my narration. And all I need to do at this point is to get to the point where my book is flipping. Once you get to that point, we are going to drag our voiceovers to this end. I'm going to drag these two voiceovers here 
And I'm going to split this recording here and I will delete the first part. Then drag the voiceovers again to this end. I'm going to split this recording and then bring in our last voiceover. Let's listen in again. More years passed and the boy returned, even taller. This is our last chapter. I'm going to split our recording at this point. Delete the last part. Let's listen in to the entire recording. Next, I'm going to adjust this recording on my screen so that only the flipping book is visible. Just pull it to this end and I think it looks good. Click on that second recording and just check to ensure that the entire book is still right in the screen. Let to the second one and we're going to do the same thing. So just pull it, come over to the last one and we're going to do the same thing. Once you're done, we're going to download it as an MP4 video. So click on export, then click on download and click on export. And our video has now been downloaded. And that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to check out my other videos on creative projects and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and God bless.